previously on Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne. Before leaving Ikebukuro, we take a side trip to beat Dai Sojo and take his candelabra. After which, we head off to Ginza to try and save Mr. Kao from the mantra. Unfortunately, the mantra seemed to have already taken the base, but soon we find out that this was all according to the assembly of Nihilo's plan. However, even though the mantra seemed to be fooled, our mission of going to see Mr. Kao and Hikawa still stands. And so we are forced to collect four Kilya, which would unlock the core of the assembly of Nihilo, and hopefully lead us to Mr. Kao and Hikawa. Alright, so we're starting from here, and uh, I already did all of the previous areas back here. Uh, there's nothing back here except for random stuff, so... Uh, if you wanted to just get through this place as quick as possible, the moment you enter, it's just up, right, straight, and then right. That's it. Alright, so there was nothing in this room, and this seems to be the path forward, so let's go. Huh? Cutscene? Oh, it's another Eligor! Okay, now let's finish this. Beast Eye, as usual. Then you're gonna call friends, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Alright, alright. Makajam. What does that do? Well... You know, you know the problem with these things? They keep missing, right? But it becomes... That makes it all the more scary if it actually hits, like... Usually things that, uh, miss a lot usually mean that they're actually, you know, kind of strong. <laughs> oh wait, why am I hitting you? I need to hit I need to hit the mini guys first. Well, if it's AoE, I guess it doesn't matter. And we can lunge against you. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, look, it's replaced by another one. Let's do that again. I really love it when the demi fiend just crits. It's like Oh well, I guess you're dead. And then again, I guess that's what makes this game kind of fair because the enemies can do the exact same thing to you, you know. Let's get more press turns. Might as well uh, push the advantage and then shock everyone. And lunge you, as, as like last time. <laughs> uh, just hit him, he's already, he's already paralyzed. He's just gonna get crit to death, yep. Okay, that was easy. Though, um, I did some research, right? And this can actually stone you. And if the Demi Fiend gets stoned and then hit, it's game over. Demi Fiend shatters and dies. <laughs> so those fights are actually more dangerous than what I than what I make it out to be. Anyway, let's head to the uh, third layer. Uh, let me just jump skip to there. All right, so I'm in the third layer. And this is, looks like a doozy. <laughs> anyway. Oh, okay, never mind. What? Who's that guy? Mysterious demon. Oh, no, you don't. I won't let you get past here. How's this? I was. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna attack? Oh, no, you're just gonna mess everything up, are you? Ew, boy. The demon has operated the switch. So... Well, this is the... Really? Jump off? I don't think so. Not this time, game. <laughs> oh no, now we're fighting these guys en masse. This is gonna be a problem. Cause I, I, don't, I don't know how to press turn you. Are you guys weak to force? I really doubt you guys are weak to force. Well, you're not weak to death. I mean, you're not strong against death, so... I guess just flat out murdering them works. See, see, there it is, there it is. If... If someone gets hit while they're stoned, they're dead, they're out. It's, it's done. So maybe I should just run from those guys, or... Well, I could get one on my team. Do I even, do I even have space? Oh yeah, I got a Copa, Copa Tengu. I'm gonna I'm gonna fuse Copa Tengu and Archangel for a demon. I was doing some research off camera. All right. So actually, some backstory why I chose uh, Shin Megami Tensei to pair with uh, Mary Skelter. 
Mainly because when I was looking and researching for what to play and whatever, it's these kinds of parts that stood out to me as similar between uh, Mary Skelter and uh, and Shin Megami. Come on, I just got here. Anyway, yeah, so I picked those two games because they both had similar dungeon crawl, dungeon crawly feeling uh, gameplay. Like this part, it's literally a puzzle that you get through. And even the, the quote-unquote dungeons in this game uh, feel very similar uh, to Mary Skelter, right? I think the main, the only main difference between Mary Skelter and this one is that Mary Skelter does it from a first-person point of view, and this is more third-person-y, you know? Oh god, is he gonna mess it up, mess it up again? Yeah, he is. Oh, no, you don't. I won't let you get past here. How's this? Are you going to say the same thing the whole time? And what's it, what's going to happen? The demon has operated the switch. What's changed? Nothing. Well, something's changed. You just can't go here and here anymore, right? So you have no choice but to go forward. Oh! But it gives you the ladder immediately. And you can't get to the center from anywhere, right? Yeah, and there's no there, there's no point getting to the going to the for the ladder if you haven't gotten the kill you in this floor yet. So I, I see what this guy's doing. Won't let me get past here. How's this? Alright, how's this gonna change it? things? Oh no! Did that block off everything? Yeah, it did. You have no choice. You, you can't move forward in any direction. You have to go down the ladder. Oh wait, perfect opportunity. Let me kill this Tengu guy and try to get this. Alright, so I haven't invested at all in talk skills. Like, no one has a talk skill, so this is probably gonna fail. Oh, damn. The Kagatsuchi is full. I can't do this. Ah, damn it. I forgot. I forgot. I guess I'm going down. <laughs> going down early. Then I'll just try to find a ladder to get back up in the middle, I guess. That's the yeah, yeah, this is a short area, so it shouldn't be all that bad. It's just, I figured there was something in the end, it was too easy. Oh, a demon. Well, you can get to the storeroom on the floor above by turning three switches blue. Well, thanks for the hint. An intruder got this far? Y you didn't have to tell me the solution and then realize I'm an intruder, that's kind of weird. I hope Commander Hikawa isn't slipping. <laughs> you know, it's kind of interesting how that works because the mantra, right? They're they're all about power and you know ruling through strength. But Hikawa is the one they call commander. I mean, Hikawa is the one with the title "quote unquote" commander by the Nihilo. So, what's really the difference? You know, one has values power and the other values command structure which is just another form of power then again i guess you could also say that about intelligence intelligence is just another way of one upping your opponent uh as opposed to regular everyday power you know all right so basically we're turning everything blue and i think we need to touch this far touch <laughs> to activate this further one again because or maybe i'm wrong i don't know anyway so uh the other switch was still blue so oops i, I went the wrong way so i'm guessing i just need to get to that uh other switch up there i don't remember if a path opened up to get to it oh come on guys <laughs> you're not even a challenge the only reason why i'm fighting all these guys is because you know, free XP and all, right? But I think I'll need to get to a save point soon because my my peeps are in pain, <laughs> basically. Um, and I don't think I can get rid of that silence via turn, so I'm gonna need to use an item for that. But the subtle with one lifestone. 
Not enough. Didn't draw any Maka. It's still not, I'm not that cheap. What if I don't comply? Negotiations are not going well. And then you comply. Let us stop this. It'll match this time. Come on. You know. It's kind of frustrating. But whatever. I just want one copy for my compendium. So I can fuse in peace. You know. Oh. Oh wait. That That's not going to work either. Huh. How is this gonna go down then? Is it over here? All right, so no, 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 not, no, not again. Basically, we had to operate this switch back to red so that we can get to the other side. Uh, unfortunately, I, I kind of messed up and you know w wasn't recording when I did it. But basically, this path over in the left uh, opens up. Oh look, you're solo. Maybe you can listen to me now. Anyway, so let's just get this thing and see how things move. So you guys are gonna see how it was in the first place. See, it, uh, this switch switch it like this, and when you switch it back, what's gonna happen? So this center one opens up, and that's where we wanna go. But then I think we have to. Oh look, we can get this for free. I thought I thought it was gonna be some sort of puzzle. Nice three life stones. So we can get here for free, and I'm guessing we're gonna have to spin the upper right again just to come on why do you get the first turn rip <laughs> i'm guessing we're gonna have to spin the upper right one again oh look biker and leveled up mag one you want to talk gonna give me something magic mirror i wonder what that is and someone's getting low so here's some medicine so yeah let's go uh get uh, this upper right uh thing over here what do you call it? A switch? Yeah. <laughs> Mind fart. Upper right thing. <laughs> okay, so how's that gonna swap things? If I'm, if my theory is correct, that should allow us to go up there. Yes, okay. Everything's hunky-dory now. So, uh, I think that's enough showing. I'm gonna jump skip to when we get to the uh, Kilia room. Alright, let's go for it. Oh, this one's green. <laughs> Are you really gonna theme it on color? Well, I guess that's a good way to differentiate each floor. And, you know, for PS2 graphics, I'm pretty sure in the PS2, I, I, I didn't play it, but I'm pretty sure in the PS2, these places could look very samey very quickly. Especially if your design is based on circles, you know? So if they weren't different colors from other floors, you might get just confused and all. Are these all gonna be locked? I'm pretty sure all of them are locked. But then again, that begs the question, what do you get when you open them? Are they full of demons? Hope not. Like, if, if you ever have to go back there, it's gonna be like, all open, full of demons. Oh, a save point, thank you. Okay, so we can die without regrets now, I've saved. <laughs> Dead end. Typical. <laughs> You know, even Mary Skelter. Yeah, see, this is another similarity with Mary Skelter. The only thing that changed is the perspective. But map design... Well, this this game is much smaller, right? But map design... Uh, encounter rate... Enemy strength and um, competency... Are very similar to Mary Skelter. The main difference, I guess, is that I think for uh, Noct... Turn. The enemies in Nocturne are more competent because they don't just whack you really hard. In Nocturne, they actually try to use debuffs on you. They actually try to, you know, kind of outsmart you and just not punch you to death. Unless, of course, in Mary Skelter, I'm just in a super early area and I haven't really experienced the full intelligence of the AI in that game. So, I don't know. Who knows? I might change my opinion eventually. That one time I wasn't recording, I actually got this on the party. <laughs> All right, so I, I feel good about that. At least, oh, 3,000 Maka, I feel good about that too. But at least I have um, a good party to fuse with at the very least, if I'm not actually going to use them. Anyway, Archangels actually, you know, it doesn't even matter. You don't have any MP, so I I'm not even going to bother, right? You just, no, not ride you. Jack o' Lantern, can you just uh, top us off, please? It's Ia. Thank you, Jack o' Lantern. Other doors we can do over here. All right. So after that weird, oh, green treasure room. Okay, we found it. 
But are we even ready? We have no... I'm not getting that treasure. Hang on, let me heal. I have nothing. <laughs> I have no MP. Well, I have HP, but I have no MP and everything. I, I don't want to fight the uber strong Eligor and just die, you know? Alright, so let's get this kill, yeah. I've saved up. Um, no, not saved up. I've topped up. And I also got a Naga. <laughs> well... So, you know, Archangel was starting to get pretty underleveled, so I, I fused the Naga. I just gave him Diorama and Estoma and Mighty Gust. Uh, trade is gonna disappear eventually. I'm just gonna replace it with whatever Naga learns. I want, as I've said in previous episodes, I want to fuse Bicorn into something, but everything he fuses in, into kinda sucks. And I can't get rid of him because I want Tsukukaja, so... Until I find someone that learns Hukukaja innately, or if I can, or when I can fuse Bicorn into something more useful, he he's gonna stay that way. You know, I, I'm pretty sure he can. But yeah, I, I'm pretty sure we can deal with a low level uh, Bicorn in the meantime. I think Hukukaja is worth it, basically. All right, so I'm gonna assume this is a female voice. <laughs> what took you so long? Had a hard time figuring out those switches at the storehouse? Am I right? Is it a female? Oh no, it's this guy. I, I thought it was... I thought it was some uh, kinky female or whatever. Uh, well, whatever. I'll use that voice anyway. I'm Kai One. Oh, sorry, but I can't let you have the kill ya. So take a hike. <laughs> ha. Kai One fled. You're not gonna stop me from taking the kill ya if you just go away, you know? Don't I already have it in my inventory? Oh no, he's gonna lead me in a wild goose chase. Yeah. Oh, come on. You're gonna lead me back there? Oh, man. Oh, and then we're gonna play hide and seek in the... Hang on, let me save. <laughs> All right. I hope this isn't... Too toxic. I'm gonna have to check every single one, won't I? But I'm gonna go with an uncommon order and go with this one. No one picks middle, middle right. Will I enter? Yes, I will. <laughs> Can someone in the comments tell me if that was scripted or did they just get guess right right off the bat? Uh, I am Kaiwan, but I'm not. Oh no, no, no. It, I, I'm just. I guessed wrong, basically. Dumbass. I thought I thought I actually found him. Come on. All right. So if there's gonna be a lot of you, how hard could you possibly be, right? Unless the game wants to be mean and make all of you boss level. So let's see how this fight goes. I guess. I won't take it too seriously because I don't want to waste MP on this guy. Um, I might take Gus with Naga though because he has. HP drain so he can literally heal himself you know so that wouldn't be a problem um, for the rest of you, you can just attack I will try too hard okay see not too hard not too hard that was just a charged uh, normal attack so no problems there also for Magatama I'm back to Marogare just because it's balanced I'll probably go to Kamu though if I really need the strength but for now i'm on marogare because i want to learn oh, can i can i actually see that probably on stats because i want to learn berserk i'll get berserk and replace heat replace it with heat wave you know anyway um also you know completion completionist feelings i i probably won't be able to max out all of the magatsuhi but you know i'm not gonna stop you from trying Oh, I found the real one. Or did I? Well, there's three of them probably found the real one. I had my fun. You have some potential. It's a shame that I have to kill you. No more fun in games. So do I have to defeat all three? I'm guessing I have to defeat all three. And maybe I'm going to guess also that you guys merge into a bigger enemy. So I'll focus one down at a time. This one I'll take seriously. War Cry into focus. 
Bicorn can start the Sukukaja because the last guy I, I I don't know how I don't know how much these guys hurt basically because the last guy didn't even get the chance. Tarukaja, Mudo, block, nice. Mudo again on the same guy. Okay, keep blocking. Thank you. Raiju can. Oh, you can start attacking. I think we're we're good-ish. And let's lunge the guy we haven't been hitting to maximize. Nice. Okay, 462. This guy's probably low by now. <laughs> Thinking about it, let's just kill this guy. There we go, he's dead. Okay, 41, manageable, and a dodge. Okay, so I think we're I think we can get out of this. Fairly safely. I don't expect these guys to suddenly pull out a trap card or whatever. See, that's what I mean. Bicorn is falling behind in damage, in HP, in everything. So eventually I'll need to replace Bicorn with something more uh, more workable. But for now, he's fine. We, we can deal with it. Oh, let's just auto. I don't think these guys are going to do anything else. Nice dodge. Okay, if I were on uh, the physical, the physical attack Magatsuhi that was weak to ailments, that might have actually worked on me because that one is weak to ailments. Leveled up Makoto, customized my stats. Yeah, let's go strength. <laughs> Never-ending strength. Learned Berserk. Low physical damage, damage relative to HP. So you see, heat wave would work if I were pumping VIP, but I'm not pumping VIP. So goodbye on heat wave. Hello to you obtained the green kill. Yeah. Okay, we're done here. Okay, we only it, it only took one one guess, so th that's fine. Also, I'm starting to use um, Estoma, so th that's what the demon thing was about. Anyway, let's move on to the next layer, shall we? Hang on, so so where's the next ladder? Oh, hang on. Never mind, I, I think I misunderstood this. We got the first kill ya right when we got to the first floor right so we actually only needed to go through three layers and this is the third layer okay so we we got everything then so hang on let me get back to that there then all right so we're back here let's input the killias then yes i will use the white killia the demons grow restless okay so my estoma wore out again uh, green kill ya. I wonder. I wonder what kind of what kind of boss the next boss is. Cause you know you can be kind of sure. The moment you unlock this, before you we get to Hikawa and Miss Takao, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a boss fight, right? Ooh, the full. Oh, that's actually cool. Oh, it's a spiral staircase. Interesting. Oh, that's a cool design. Never would have guessed it from the actual floor layout. But now I'm actually freaked out because <laughs> look at that! Look, look, look how deep that goes. It's like, like even from this perspective, it kind of makes you. You see, it's like I, I'm not afraid of heights, but this is kind of uncomfortable. I like how they did this effect, and you know, they they're, they're doing it with a fixed camera angle. This is this is what fixed camera angles are good at. It's. It's setting the frame, the, like the frame of the scene. Because when the camera is always following you, there's no chance to make uh, scenes and uh, shots like this, basically. All right, so Mr. Takao, Mr. Hikawa, where are you? I want to have a chat. There's a door to the left and right. So let's go left first. And battle! <laughs> Oh no, the Elegor is gonna be a, a an everyday regular thing now, isn't it? Yeah, maybe I can, you know, uh, actually get those guys on my team. Hang on. Okay, attempt number one. Yes, I I wish I actually really like you, especially in Persona. 
Eligor is thinking. Sure, have all the money. Yeah, sure, have all the life stones. Why? Wow, you, you gave me back the life stone. Anyway, I, I really like Eligor. I like his design. I like his attributes. I like what he does, which is basically punch really hard. You know, nothing to not like about Eligor. Well, I'm sure someone can say something about why they don't like Eligor. But you get my point, right? Okay, so this whole left side was nothing but empty rooms. Well, there was some treasure in them, but absolutely pointless from a progression perspective. So this must be the right way then. Yeah, this definitely feels like the right way because there's a long hallway and turning off right. So let's try to finish off the other hallway first, unless it's the exact same thing, only mirrored. No, th this looks like treasure rooms. Yep. Oh, come on. Now I have to walk around. Let's do this one then first. And there's nothing in here. And it's a new Kagatsuchi. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Hang on. Okay, so there's a bomb of rising in here. Actually, that's kind of interesting. What is that? Bomb of rising. You know, I should use the these incense at some point. It also full heals something, so... Revives one ally for full HP? Okay, okay. I, I like that. Actually, reviving in this game is so punishing because you revive them and they have, like, what? Two HP, right? So... It, if someone dies... Reviving and getting getting them back up to speed is actually a pain. So that's actually a pretty good item, all in all. All right, so this is the only way left. So it must be over here, right? And yes, it's the elevator to the 15th, 15th floor. Basement 15. Okay, so that door is glowing. Clearly boss fight, boss fight marker over there. And save point over here. How convenient. All right. Let's see how bad this is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I I fully expect to, you know, get my ass whooped. Oh, it's it's a whole nother floor. Well, you sense a strong power from beyond the door. Is this a boss fight now? Hopefully. Well, not hopefully, but I'm kind of expecting it at this point, you know? Is that? It would seem I have a visitor. Oh, it's Ikawa. Evidently, someone in the mantra has a brain in their head after all. Well, this is quite the surprise. You're that boy from the hospital. I'm amazed you're still alive. I I'm amazed I'm still alive too. Well, kind of died like once or twice <laughs> and judging by your appearance you've gained considerable power yes i call it centipede power i had to swallow it before i became a demon fiend why have you whatever. come here was it to see me i'm actually not sure i'm supposed to meet you and somehow stop the end of the world but the end of the world kind of already happened so I'm pretty foggy on the actual reason why I'm here. Uh, whatever, let's say yes. <laughs> really? Even though I nearly killed you, you've tracked me down to obtain the answers you seek. Very well. I commend you for reaching this place on your own. Oh, I have four buddies with me, as well as a bunch of demons I can summon. If it is truth you seek, then I will reveal everything. You could almost say you're gonna help me reach out to the truth. All there is to know of this world. Take a look at this device. Its function is to gather Magatsuhi. You must have seen one like it on the upper level. Let me ask, do you know why Magatsuhi exists? It was negative emotions, right? Am I right? I'm gonna go with no so that he explains it. Remember this. In this world, you might as well be dead if you don't fully understand Magatsuhi. Magatsuhi is a sacrificial offering. It is the power needed to call forth the god of creation. And without it, 
one cannot fulfill the purpose of this world. So it's like the fuel for the world creation process then, but what's it made from? You see, one who possesses a strong will can change this world and everything in it. Oh, well, now thinking about it, you know, Thor did pull some from Isamu, so I guess it's made of souls. When one's ideology or reason has been spread and enough Magatsuhi gathered, God will descend from above and reshape the very foundation of the world. Yes, for the sole purpose of creation, this world of chaos was brought into existence directly by my hand. Oh! So he forced the conception. Soon enough, my dream shall be realized. So if I'm understanding it correctly, the world wasn't exactly supposed to end yet. But Hikawa did some... something. And then forced the conception to happen now because he was ready to... Uh, he was ready with all these... Um, thingamajigs. A complete circle of stillness. In harmony with the workings of time. The world of Shijima will be born. The mantra believe they've destroyed this space, but as you can see, the core is fully functional. Nothing more needs to be done. I will soon have all the Magatsuhi I require. So without this machine, how is a normal everyday demon or human or whatever supposed to get all of these Magatsuhi? Will that singular person need to like harvest the hard way now then i believe some discipline is in order because that kind of seems unreasonable but then again it is the creation of the world you know to all who oppose the assembly of nihilo there will be no forgiveness i suggest you pay close attention and witness the ruin at hand Using the Magatsuhi stored here, I will call on my newfound strength. Is that your is that your zodiac? Like if this were persona, would you call it on a strength persona? The time has come. Activate the nightmare system. Well, th that sounds like a Resident Evil thing. <laughs> nightmare system. Oh, here we go. What's it gonna do? I expected something of the sort, but let's see what this actually does. Very PS2. That, 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 that's it? Oh, okay. And what's gonna happen? Oh, he fired it at the headquarters. Oh boy. Do you understand what's happening? This system gives me total control over the flow of Magatsuhi on a worldwide scale. This tiny facility pales in comparison. As my first target, I have selected Ike Bukuro, the mantra's home base. The Magatsuhi in that area will be depleted, and the mantra will die out in no time. Oh. It's like a, a poison bomb, only... It's like you're taking the oxygen out of the area for the demons. Oh, I forgot to mention. Your teacher plays a key part in this system. She's been a great asset to me. Her abilities as the Maiden have been truly invaluable. Yeah, where is she? Are you worried about her? Kinda, I think that's more- I think she's more of a reason why I'm here. Like, more than you, but yeah. Uh, yes. Unfortunately for you, she isn't here. Like, I want to make the Demifiend a bit more human, so let's give him the, the worry angle. In fact, I doubt you will ever see her again. 
After all, she is the maiden of creation, not the teacher you once knew. You were not meant to survive the conception in the first place. Your attachment to the previous world will only serve to deepen your despair. I should not have been so merciful back then. Allow me... What? Are you, are you gonna fight me now? ...to end your pain and suffering right here <sighs> and now. Okay, I thought we were gonna get away with just a story, a, a story scene, but... I guess it's also a final I boss scene. I don't know what hopes and dreams you've brought with you. Undertale intensifies. But you can accomplish nothing in this world. I've accomplished quite a bit by punching things. I don't need no fancy machines. I, I just punch things, you know. Now, go and join the masses that fell before you. Is he in, is he in briefs? He's in briefs. You don't need to give him that detail. He's already an animal. No one cares if he's naked or not. Uh. <laughs> Whatever, Warcry. It's a boss fight, so I'm fully committed to fully debuffing you. Uh Yeah, Sukukaja. Let's do let's do the rounds. Do the rounds. Uh Tarukaja, sure, why not? Attack miss, exactly what I wanted. Cannot war cry anymore. What's what what's our bottleneck? Our bottleneck is MP. And you're also our media, so we, I don't wanna burn it too hard. So let's try feral claw. 97. Yeah, could be better. But whatever. Another fog breath, then we can move to focus lunge. Focus lunge combo. You can also keep the Sukukajas up. I pretty doubt that this guy debuffs. Like, I mean, dispels debuffs or buffs on you. Uh, one more Tadokaja, just so that we can start bursting him, bursting him down quickly. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, you love to see it. You love to see it. Hip. Crit, please. Well, not, not no crit. It's fine. Uh, lunge. Crit. No, oh, well. I, I I love seeing crits. Basically, you know. Oh right, I'm on full. Uh, Magatsuhi. I'm on full moon thing. So this is gonna crit. <laughs> oh boy, I love this game. I love this game. I love this game when it works for you. But I also kind of respect it when it's kind of cheap. Because, you know, at least you know that the game is fair in the sense that it works both ways. Magic reflecting barrier appeared. I'm not even using magic, bro. Um, Alright, just, just attack. There's nothing more to do here. Focus. And... Normal attacks for push turns? Uh, mighty, mighty gust. Why not? We have we have a lot of HP, and Naga can heal himself anyway, so not a big deal. Not a big deal. Attack. One thirty-one. Okay, we're 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 getting there. We're we're doing damage, and I don't think he can even hit us. Oh, I spoke too soon. He can hit us, but that's why we have this guy, Medea. Pop us off. Lunge. Get his get his face out of here. <gasps> Oh, that was an achievement. Oh, wow. Look, I know I'm sounding like a overacting YouTuber, but no, th this is just me. Uh, four digits. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, look, I think... I think we've won this fight, even if we don't win this fight. But it looks like we're gonna win. I don't think he can do anything to us. Oh, here we go. He's increasing his evasion too. <laughs> uh, 
Wait, he's ev he's increasing his evasion and hit rate. So he might actually hit us soon. We can't fog breath anymore, so let's just hope we don't <gasps> Two in a row! And the second one was stronger than the first one. Whew. I think I've peaked. <laughs> I've peaked in this game. You leveled up, please customize your stats. Uh, Aji, <laughs> I mean, yeah, Aji, I want I, I as as tempting it is to just go full ham on strength. You know, I need to balance it out more or less. What does counter do? May perform a weak counter attack when physically attacked. Uh. I don't think that's very useful. Let's give up on counter. Unless I'm totally wrong. Marugare is acting violently. A warm light. I'm fully recovered. Bicorn leveled up for Aji. And what do you have? Oh, you obtained the Magatama Anathema. What do you have to say to that, Hikawa? You may have defeated me. Oh, you're the one who's talking to me. But you will never be able to find our commander. Nor the maiden. Oh, Hikawa used the opportunity to run away. Makes sense, makes sense. The nightmare system has been activated. This base will soon be closed down, and the way to the maiden will be lost forever. Uh huh. Be gone, demon! It is we, the assembly of Nihilo, who will create the new world! C can you join my party? Okay, I'm guessing he's just dead now. Why'd you... Why'd you push me out here? Can we go back in? Oh, no. Literally. Literally, the, the base is closed. I should have checked the left and right rooms. The, the door is tightly shut. I should have checked the left and right rooms. But, you know... You can't have a perfect run, so whatever's in there is whatever, it's lost. Do you have anything to say about this? What's going on? Didn't the mantra win? I heard a bunch of manga too, we got vacuum out of... Uh, you know, that's kind of an understatement, it kind of got nuked. Um, so I'm just gonna assume that we're gonna go to the... Go back to Ikebukuro. So... I'm gonna leave it there for now, and if you want to see what happened to Ikebukuro in the next episode, maybe leave a like and subscribe to get notified. This has been Caffeinified Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one.